Welcome to my YouTube channel. The primary purpose of this vlog is to inform, educate and entertain viewers and subscribers. Please watch the entire vlog and remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. In today's topic we will discuss the truth about Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday typically falls within February 4th and March 10th, as the dates for Easter changes annually, so today, the countdown to Easter begins. Officially, Ash Wednesday is known as the Day of Ashes, a day marking the beginning of the Lenten period of fasting that lasts for 40 days, Sundays excluded. This Lenten period ends on Holy Saturday, which commemorates the day that Jesus Christ lay in the tomb after his death, according to the Christian Bible. This is a day before Easter Sunday. It is also known as Easter Eve, Easter Even, Black Saturday, or as simple as the Saturday before Easter. There's always been one constant, however, Ash Wednesday marks the beginning of the season, signaling the 46-day countdown to the period of commemoration for the festival and holiday of Jesus from the dead. Synonymous with bun and cheese, kite flying, gusty winds, palm leaves, four heads bearing the sign of the cross in ash, and a time of worship and sacrifice through fasting, the season hereafter is recognized as the most sacred of religious holidays. Here are some other facts you may have missed over the years. You can get ashes without going to church. Traditions have morphed into socially acceptable norms as many try to undo the strict principles of our forefathers. With this comes the breakdown of religious ideals that instructed the practices of the faith. You don't need to be the leader of a church to apply ashes. Nowadays, many priests and pastors administer ashes in public spaces such as parks, parking lots, terminuses, and community centers. In the Middle Ages, ashes were sprinkled over the head instead of more recent times where it's placed on the forehead in the shape of a cross. Some keep the ashes on their head for the remainder of the day as a reminder and a signal to others that the wearer is a sinner and requires God's forgiveness. Ash Wednesday service with the entire family is a must. You are expected to arrive promptly at church that you may bear the ash cross like Christ did before he was crucified. During this service, the priest or minister may rub the sign of the cross on their foreheads using ashes, which represents mourning and repentance, and a symbol of commitment. Most times, the ashes are gathered from the burning of palms from Palm Sundays prior. Genesis 3 verse 19, reads. For you are dust, and to dust, you shall return, qualifies the biblical significance of Ash Wednesday. In many instances, when clergymen mark one's forehead with ash, they recite the scripture as a reminder to be humble in the face of morality. Ash Wednesday celebrations and the history of the Holy Day dates back over 1,000 years and only gained mainstream popularity with Christians in the 1970s. You may be surprised to learn that not all Christians observe Ash Wednesday. Christian sects that recognize the Holy Day include the Lutherans, Methodists, Episcopalians, Presbyterians, and some Baptists. While there are Mormons, Evangelicals, and Pentecostal Christians that refrain from practicing Ash Wednesday. There are rules governing the way we eat on Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is a day of fasting. So, to observe effectively, on Fridays during Lent, Christians are expected to abstain from eating meat they'd usually eat. And, since receiving ashes isn't a sacrament, the rules aren't as strict as with other practices. Story credited to Loop News. Shalom. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and click the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are posted. May the divine grace of Almighty God be upon you and your family. Remember, to love your neighbor as you would love yourself. It is a divine requirement attainable through kindness. Spread the love. Thank you.